Hey guys, anybody that has uh, Brembo pads, an SRT, SXT, uh, be, any, any vehicle that has Brembo pads hates brake dust. So I decided to buy this um, Armor All Outlast brake dust repellent and give it a shot. Um, I've tried all sorts of products in the past to keep the brake dust to a minimum. I know a lot of people will go with ceramic pads, but I don't want to lose the stopping power that the Brembo's, uh, the metallic pads have. So I'm trying different products that claim to reduce brake dust. So far, all of them been bullshit. Every single one I've tried, complete bullshit. So my expectations going into this test with Armor All Outlast Brake Dust Repellent are very low, extremely low, because I have yet to find anybody that can I'm not trying to stop brake dust. I'm trying to minimize it or help make it easier to clean, just to rinse off. Um, waxing it just doesn't seem to help. Ceramic coating um, may be your best boat, bet to go, but that's also very expensive. So I'm trying to find a product that you can go into AutoZone or Pet Boys or any store or order it online and like this and just spray it on and that they claim it works. They have a picture here. It says untreat it and treat it. That's a pretty bold claim showing how dirty it is on one side and how treated and clean it is on the right. So before I call it bullshit, I'm gonna give it a, a, a test. It's Friday afternoon. I'm only gonna do one side of the front because that's the, the rear brake pads, never, they're never a problem. I am gonna spray just one side and then I have to drive up and back to New York on Sunday and my brake, my rims look like shit when I get back from driving up and back there. It's a good three hour round trip drive. So that should be plenty of time to build up enough brake dust to do a side by side comparison to see if this stuff actually does what it claims. Um, like I said, very skeptical. I don't work for Armor All. I, I work in the shipping industry. Um, so I, I'm very, the bar is set really high for this thing and I'm just real, real skeptical. So without further ado, Let's get to the, the actual test. All right, so directions are pretty simple. Make sure the wheels are clean, which I just cleaned them. Make sure they're dry. Shake the can really well. And then after you apply it, wipe off any excess and allow one hour minimum to dry. So I'll shake this up and check to see what time it is. Hold on one second, Let's double check what time it is. So, 7.13, as you can see on the, on the phone, it's Friday, June 23rd, it's 7.13. So, I'm going to apply this now to my drive, or excuse me, to the passenger side front tire, the front rim. Get the camera set up first. Pull the camera back a little bit. All right. And yeah, if you notice, I've got a lot of, uh, I got some road rash. My rims look like shit to begin with. Um, if anybody's interested in getting rid of their spider monkey rims and want to replace them, uh, Velgen makes a really nice 22 inch rim. Um, just type in Velgen, Solace Motors, sells them. They have great specials. Um, I follow them online, so, all right. Let's get to this. Let's get to the test. I've been shaking this for the last minute. I just want to make sure, you know, I'm doing everything that this tell me. It's real windy, so if the audio's messed up, I apologize. So let's just apply this like they can say. Liberally spray it on.
put a nice coating on and I'm just looking over the instructions here the directions I thought make sure I follow and break dust um, no as product dries excess will run off bottom of the wheel and may and may leave a white mark on the tire right, white marks can be wiped away with a towel for best results with armor all tire shine products apply tire shine before applying armor all out applying oh okay so this is just basically hyping their own shit you know they want you to apply the tire shine which I've already done I used a different product I don't like any of the armor all um, tire shine products I think they're all crap uh, I can show you what I recommend but so anyway it's just telling you to do that and so like I said it's got that's the before it says untreat it and that's to treat it anybody that has a Brembo pad knows that this is probably bullshit but like I said I'm gonna give them an honest shake we'll see what happens one thing I'm already noticing and I don't like is it's starting to leave like a white haze on the rim you see that a little there's a white haze there. there's a another little white haze I don't know why in certain spots it's starting to leave a haze like that just certain certain parts so right see that so you'll probably just wipe that off after it dries but like I said they tell me to wait an hour we'll come back out in an hour and we'll see um, what it looks like if that stuff is going away um, I'm not I'm not too confident with this stuff so in the meantime while it's drying I'm gonna do another modification to my engine and then I'll get back to this okay stay tuned all right, it's been an hour. I'm back. Um, sun's going down, so just show you what time it is. It's 8:12, Friday, June 23rd. It's, it's an hour, 59 minutes. You want to get technical? So, um, right off the bat, you can see uh, you can see some white streaks. gives it like a dull finish you can see uh, I really don't like that white film that's like running off the tire you can see it real good right there again I apologize because of the uh, audio with the wind but you can see that right there it's on it's on every part of the rim it just leaves this like residue and I'm sure they would criticize me and say, oh, well, you didn't clean it good enough. Listen, I clean these rims as good as anybody's going to clean their rims. These were not right out of the box, the rims. So I cleaned them as good as anybody's going to go clean them. I'm anal about cleaning my, my vehicle. So already starting to think this is bullshit that it's going to keep the brake dust off. But there you go. Um... That's that's pretty much it. It's on every part of the rim. So I'm gonna leave it like this. I'm not gonna wipe it off. I'm not gonna wipe any part of this off until Sunday. We'll see what it looks like. And then I'll, I guess I'll have to try wiping some of this white residue off. But yeah, I'm not impressed right away. So, so far, thumbs down with the product. I don't like having the white streaks. I'd rather clean the brake dust off. Um, so that's it. I'm going to check it back on Sunday. So I just got back from my drive to New York to finish this uh, brake dust test that I started the other day. Um, to recap, Outlast brake dust repellent. This is the untreated side, so their picture says. And this is the treated side. So my rim should look like that. So let's just go take a look and see exactly what this Armor All Outlast really does. So this is the side that was untreated. This is the driver's side, as you can see. 
close up. Like a lot of brake dust on here. So that's about 300 miles this weekend up and back to New York. So this is what the untreated side looks like. Okay. So let's go look at the, the treated side. Wow. What do you know? Looks just like, looks like shit. So that's supposed to be treated and that's treated. Look at this. Let's use a clean finger. This is bullshit. And look, there's the white residue it left all over the rims. So on top of, on top of the brake dust, it left. So on the untreated side picture, it had white residue. So this stuff is absolute garbage. It's garbage. So good. Let's go back over. Once again, this is the untreated side. This is the driver side that we didn't spray the Armor All brake dust repellent on. And you can see how much brake dust is on there. Look at that. All right. So that's untreated. And this garbage is the treated side. It looks the same, except it has white streaks from where we, the stupid stuff ran. This stuff is garbage. I, I would never use this stuff again. Throw it in the trash. Garbage. You should be ashamed of yourselves for the product advertisement. Look at this picture. Look at this picture. Look at that. Untreated, treated. Looks like freaking magic, right? That's the treated side. That's complete garbage. It didn't keep brake dust off of anything. It's everywhere. That's your false advertisement. It says it's if the treated side, it's got a little asterisk on it. Of course, let's see what the asterisk says on the back. There's always some kind of catch. Let's see. Uh, I can't even find. Oh, there it is, real small. Simulation of product in use. Well, simulate this. This shit sucks. I'm gonna throw it right in the garbage. A waste of money. Matter of fact, the untreated side looks better because I don't have the white streaks real bad. That's probably from rain or something. I don't know, that's just wet, but I'll tell you what. This side looks more even, and this is the untreated side. Let's go take a look at that garbage treated side again. It's a freaking joke. This is a joke. If you if you purchase this, this is what you get to this is what you can expect. I don't care what their company says about simulated. What's it say with their asterisk? Simulation of product in use. What the hell they simulate what? That's treated. It does not even look anywhere similar. It didn't do anything. Garbage, absolute garbage. Throw it right in the trash. It's going right in the trash. This is what I think of Armor All Outlast brake dust. Garbage.